In this video, we'll look at taking animation that's been blocked out in poses and smoothing it out. Right now, I've got the character here, the Eco, in the camera looking out the window. But as we can see, his head clicks from one side to the other, as do his arms, as he points towards the window, towards something he wants us to look at. We need to smooth this out, making that motion both smooth but not drifting. Here's how I'll start. I'll look at the pelvis control to begin with, as the motion originates for the character from the gut. In the hierarchy, I'll go down to the X rotation, and there's the key. Right now the tangents are stepped. The first thing I'll do is pick both of those keys, and up here on the top, try the tangents at auto. That's a slow in, slow out, or default Bezier curve. It's not bad for some things, but we need it to be a little sharper in places. This will lead to floating animation if we leave all the keys like this. I'll try something. I'll pick the first key on the X rotation and change the tangent to fast. That way the motion starts in quick and then fades as he turns. I'll scrub over. And we can see he starts to turn fairly rapidly and then smooths into that motion. That seems to work nice. I'll try it with the shoulder control. As you can see, there's keys at 81 and 100, roughly. I'll do the same thing, going to the track view and going down to the rotation, which is keyed, there's the X rotation, and changing the tangents. I'll pick the keys and set them to auto to begin with. This unlocks them from step and lets me change to another mode. I'm going to try the same thing, the first one as a fast tangent, and then easing into that motion. Now we should see a more pronounced motion. He starts out talking and gradually turns, looks over, and that matches the motion of the camera. So initially, smoothing out keys looks something like this. I'll finish up with his head and see where I need to go to next. Another option, since I know I rotated these on the x-axis, is to go on the timeline here and right-click on the key. Another option, since I know which axis now I've rotated on, is to select the key, right-click on it, and choose Key Properties, and go to that rotation. We can see down here in the window that pops up, the in and out tangents of that key are stepped. I can click and hold on the flyout and change them. I'll fly out the in tangent and change it over to auto. I'll do the same with the out and then go look at key number two by clicking on the arrows. In is auto, out is stepped, I'll change that as well, and then I'm going to return back to key one and change the out tangent on key one to a fast in. Let's see how this looks. He starts to turn fairly rapidly and slows into motion to lead our eye out to the right to look out. That's a pretty good example of how to smooth out keys. If we want to go further, we can look at the keys in the track view. As an example for his head, I may want to slow down that motion at the end a little bit. I can select the handle on key number two and pull it out and holding control will constrain that motion to horizontally. This will make his head whip over to the right a little bit more by slowing down the frames toward the end. Seems to work pretty nicely. I can continue with this through the other keys. The thing to remember about animation here is that even though 3ds Max will interpolate frames for us, creating our tween frames, we shouldn't rely on just interpolation to make the animation look right. If it takes a key at every frame to get the animation to look right, be snappy and not drifting, and have the characters sit or stand with weight and have emphasis in their motion, then put a key at every frame. 